Okay. Welcome to the developer patch overview. We have Jason in the studio. What up? Yes, Jason will be here for the first part. In the second part, we'll have Maciek Ostrowski, <clears throat> who is heading up the gameplay design team. And then we'll talk about gameplay. But before we talk about gameplay, let's talk about patch Lada, even Lada. one. And it's a big one. It's a big one. You yes. could almost Boy. call it a mini expansion. In a uh, for me, it actually is a mini expansion. We yeah. have the sixth syndicate oh, leader, leader coming. I won't tell you who it is. Tossed the coin in a certain video. He tosses the coin in a certain she video. Does, so that already does. gives you an idea. That's a hint. <laughs> we've tweaked around 256 cards. I don't like to give numbers, but uh, we've 260. 250. 56. This includes four leaders. Four <laughs> uh, a lot of changes. favorite faction, a.k.a. Northern Realms. Not well, we didn't change 256 for Northern Realms. We no. changed about 200 for, for all factions. And the rest are Northern Realms. Yeah? But four leaders. But four leaders. Realms. Yes. And okay. this is just the beginning for Gwent. And it's been an awesome year. And as you guys know, we're moving to mobile. And Jason, we have you here. Yep. What can we expect? in the following months. Oh, leaks, Pog. Uh, I mean, first thing to note is we just spoke about an incredibly large volume of cards changing, and mm -hmm. I'd like to note that maybe five or six of them are, can be considered a bit of nerfs, but they're very targeted and very specific. Uh, we're, other, than, other than that, we're actually bringing just cards that are you know much harder to justify in a deck, and we're bringing them up, so it should increase deck diversity and open yeah. up some new strategies and that really, weren't just available to, before. Just to jump in, I really like that the philosophy has changed and the community has also seen this like we are not taking syndicate and we're not doing nerfs but what we're doing is we're looking into factions and we're bringing them up to that level that's so exactly what i want to see stronger. i'm glad to hear that back in the year, that is like exactly we... what i wanted to hear they're not nerfing syndicate they're bringing other factions up to the level of syndicate that is exactly what i wanted thank you oh that's beautiful that sounds so good thank took you took things like monsters and actually brought it down a bit uh -huh. to try and balance it with the other ones and and the more we've looked back at it, the more that's maybe the wrong direction, and we don't want to head in that direction anymore. I mean, there's always some cases where cards just... It needs to be brought down, yeah? Yeah, yeah. if but, it's too crazy. <laughs> if it's too crazy, but generally, uh, I think we want to err on bringing mm -hmm. everything a little bit up rather than uh, bringing the few down. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So it just should increase the overall uh, feeling. Uh, but we obviously, we, it's funny to say that we don't want to change too much, in one shot, 256 not being too much. So we haven't actually done a really hard pass on the identity mm -hmm. of factions other than Northern Realms because, well, it was the one that was suffering the most. I think yes. there was one keyword that was unique <clears throat> to Northern Realms and it was formation, and I believe it was mm -hmm. only on four or five cards. Exactly. So it's really hard nice. to get a, yeah. a nice feeling faction identity in Barely a faction used, like Northern yeah. Realms with such little uniqueness to them. So mm -hmm. that's definitely something that when, when you guys go through it with Metric, you'll discover that we did a, a, an honestly awesome effort to improve. Uh, but I think in the next- I really like what I'm hearing so far. Two end of August, you'll notice us paying a bit more attention to the other factions that didn't necessarily get a, a focus on this one. Although to be fair, every faction you know, is part is pr pretty much equally part of that 200 mm -hmm. uh, buff. So every faction is getting some love this update. So it's not like we ignored them, but you'll see the most significant changes in play uh, with Northern Realms, for sure. Mm -hmm. Nice. Also, quality of life changes. You we guys have been doing more and more of these coming into the game. And we're far from done, and it'll mm -hmm. keep having more in the future, uh, always bringing things to a more you know, satisfactory level. I think like one of the examples of that is we're working right now on trying to improve the search field in uh, the deck builder. Mm -hmm. So. For example, when you search mage, you don't necessarily get all the cards with damage yeah. inside of it. So you can actually look up cards with the mage mm -hmm. tag. So that's definitely a step to making, yeah. let's say, that archetype <laughs> that more mage. high. Yeah. Yeah. I know also like Lol. taking some things in the collection, also when it comes to the filtering, yeah. so, so stuff like that. So Was that actually yeah, an issue? Like I didn't even know about that. More of quality of life stuff to make, you know, like playability and the overall I mean, a lot much easier. That, that's definitely part of it. We're also like, you know, devoting a good chunk of our time working towards mm -hmm. mobile. So that's actually, you know, uh, eating up a lot of time. Give release a good dates. Way. Really excited for the progress we're making there. Yeah, we can and actually now like play around with the thing. We have a lot of all these like, follow, tablets um, and we shooting. have iPhones. Yeah, and we have iPhones and tablets it's everywhere crazy. in the office. And, uh, you know, we're still working on also bigger things like yeah. eventually trying to get spectators in. 31st? No, the mobile. 
well, not ready to talk patch. about that are pretty exciting. Like the next few updates you Pepega. Uh, are going to be just as, hopefully, just as amazing as, as 3.1 is going to be. And of course, the next expansion. Like you showed oh, me some again. from it already. Ooh, juicy it. news. It's, it's crazy. I, I think, I think there's Another going one. to be some, you know, shirt pulling off, running down the streets, <laughs> going crazy. They can't believe they did this expansion. Yeah, yes, I mean, yes. at least I hope so. That's what we're going for. And Whoa. I think the community already wanted this and they still want it and they know it's coming and yes. I'm happy that it's actually coming. It's going to be pretty so awesome. Teasing. I think Sorry. people the are going to be a bit shocked right. that we're actually doing some of the he said the community wants something to be shocked to get it. Is that either probably mean that, that that I think that means Redania. I feel like that really that hints towards Redania. That's, That's what the Redania. community really wants. Everyone wants Redania, right? With uh, Radovan and whatnot back. And, and the other thing that we should maybe talk about real quick is you guys figured out, we figured out who the next faction ambassador for Syndicate yes. is going to be, isn't it? We're happy to welcome Trinet to it. our <laughs> family. So Trina, welcome. Thank you I for all your it. like dedication. It makes sense. Makes sense. Trina streams, streams every single day. I, I get notifications whenever you go on stream. <laughs> so, I see them 7 a.m. every day, streaming for many hours. Also making content on YouTube. Yeah. So really well crazy, deserved. cool decks. Like well the community deserved. has really backed you, and we've seen that. So no bushy. Well, nah, no, it makes sense to Trina. It makes sense. I think. Everyone clap for clap, Trina. Clap. Good job. <laughs> I don't want to clap too loud, or the mic's gonna explode or something. So yeah. All right. Um, so we got a one in details. Let's jump into three point one. So what players can expect in the following trying days? Trying to sleep right yeah, now. Pip it off. On Wednesday, so yeah. we're very Wait. very close to Is that. He? Yep. Um, so well, patch notes will come a day before, like yes, always. Patch Probably. notes will be on Tuesday. It'll be a doozy, Tuesday. but we've we've tried to organize them like we did the last patch notes with exactly. some commentary, kind of explaining what mm -hmm. we're trying to do. Uh, obviously, we don't have a comment per card. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been excessive, and a lot of those changes can be but grouped into... But for the into... overall changes we have, uh, comments yep. coming straight from the designers. Uh, Thank you to Rishik for helping with those. Yeah. That's really awesome. For new features <laughs> that we also have coming with 3.1... Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, he would know it, obviously. Yeah. Finally, like when yeah. you have 20 kegs to open, it should be a bit faster. Yeah. The whole flow is, has just been speed, sped up. You can click anywhere on the pad. You just click A, and it opens quicker. So that, that will make you know, life we've, a lot we've, much we've also redesigned the reward pop-up. Well, I mean, not fundamentally, mm -hmm. but made it so that you can see more than five rewards at a time yes. because only being only being able to give five things it's not it's not in our nature we like we, we, we like to give give more so we can give more in one shot exactly. uh, and the filters in deck builder oh, really? haven't huh. worked so yep. like you said the smarter text searching that is something that is coming with 3.1 um so the yeah premiums for all the missing syndicate cards yes. are coming so you guys were as we promised flying redania premium later, pogu that was always the plan and exactly like it's live no we, not live we, we, we pulled it off yeah on youtube and uh, we also have the leader trees for all the syndicate leaders we do have all the leader trees coming including the sixth leader tree hmm. i, wonder who I think is. watch out you'll find out any oh, day now oh boy any day now. hopefully any day before now. siggy ruven yes. <laughs> siggy leader we also have something it's happening very important I left it till the end of this uh, segment. Yeah. So the fixes. Oh, the fixes. Uh, <laughs> Barnabas, well, please. I mean, please. A lot of ask uh, what's going on with Barnabas and Harold. And <laughs> Thank the, the you. Fact is, is <laughs> Finally, we did it. We did it. It's just one of those things that we have a really hard time <laughs> consistently oh or even my at all God. reproducing <laughs> when mm -hmm. we're actually in an environment where we can, you know, break it down and try and figure out what's happening. Finally. Uh, but we're Pretty confident that we've finally fixed it this time. <laughs> if not, we're going to keep working on it exactly. until we figure it out. It's just one of those things oh, that boy. even when we think we fixed it, it's hard to be sure because it works. <laughs> yeah, we tested it in, uh, internally. It works. Everything is fine. And then it's we the, it's ship not that we're it ignoring it. Yeah, we, it's, it's, it's becoming that our Bond yeah. villain yeah. in our development is, exactly. is those two cards. But. Yeah, but you and me, we took it as priority <laughs> that it needs to be done. Like we've yep. seen people complaining about it. So hopefully this time it will be fixed. Another. <laughs> Fixes Isbel of yeah. H, who did not Isbel. draw a card for a player, so this is also yes. Oh, fixed wow, they so, finally uh, did I mean, address that. A lot of exciting things. Three point one. Uh, Ostre is going to be able to show you guys a lot of fun stuff, so enjoy it. And uh, thank you guys for your support and your love, and enjoy the rest of this video. It's time to Ostre clap. Boom, Ostre, welcome Hi. back to the studio. Editing now weird we can champ. talk about the gameplay changes. Yes. That's what we're here for. Um, By so the way, that, that was a nice clap. That was a nice clap. That was a nice clap. Yeah. Patch 3.1. There's a lot of changes. We talked yes. a little bit about it with Jason. 256 cards specifically for Lears and a very, very big change for Northern Realms. That's true. Uh, and it's important to mention that most of it is just the buffs. 
Uh-huh. We don't have a nurse. Jason spe- uh, mentioned mm, no, that we have some specific no nerves. nerves, like five, oh. six, yeah, for, yeah. for some cards, but all of those things are just buffs. Exactly. So I mostly agree with that. So when we talk about the uh, overall mostly. pass that you guys did before we get into Northern Realms, what was the idea? Like, what did you want to achieve? Uh, so one of our, like, purpose was to reduce the damage in the game. Uh-huh. Right now we know that there is a lot, and it's also too high, like, the probably the... Best decks are just Removal? the control decks with a yeah. lot of damage, yeah. And we wanted to change that. So one of the things we done is change the amount of cards that damaging. Mm-hmm. It's much lower. Okay. And also change the 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 value of damage itself. It's also mm-hmm. it's also lower because we mm. you know we want you to work to remove something, not just play a card and you know deal five damage. No, I'm scared. And everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the other thing we also uh, increased power of okay. a lot of cards. So it's another step that makes damage weaker because not only the value of damage is lower, but the power is higher. Okay. So now it should be much mm-hmm. much harder to, to remove something. Mm-hmm. I'm a little bit we scared. Also, sorry, because yeah, we also removed the four damage bronzes at least from North, Northern Realms. Okay. We don't want to have such a four high damage, damage bronzes. Bronze cards. And if we have high damage, wait. We wanna ID- what bronze cards do four damage? What? They move it to special cards. We're okay yeah. if it's on special mm-hmm. card, you know, you play special, you remove something, but you do not gain anybody on the board. So, so not units in this yes. case, only of special course, cards. You know, there are a few, mm-hmm. few exceptions here and there, but, but Range that's the overall, oh. overall idea. That, yeah. mm-hmm. okay. So not only that you're dealing damage, but you're also getting a body. So in this yes. case, you will get All more units? points. Oh, yeah. Then okay. it's better to have yes. this on a special card, which is not many of them. More points that's, in true. This case. Mm-hmm. that's true. That's true. Um, some examples of cards that you want to oh, go yeah. um, uh, through? Sure, sure. I prepared only Northern Realms cards as a. I'm a little bit worried, uh, honestly. This sounds a bit scary. Mm -hmm. And the first card I would like to show is the Dun Banner. So we can actually show it on the screen. Um, So, as you remember, this was a card that was just dealing damage, Mm -hmm. as many others, you know. Yes, so it's a perfect example. We just... So it has synergy it. now with um a card that has more synergy copy. with yeah, blue so stripe commanders. Receives a boost. Summon a copy yes. of it from your deck to this row. Okay, um, this we seems strong, work, especially with Northern Realms. Mm-hmm. Oh, but maybe about it. I wanted to say about something about helps with Draug. Maybe I should do this later. I you can swarm with foul blood you, can, you can swarm with this and this not just commanders. Yes, we'll skip it now. And second is the second example. Uh, Vess was not reworked. Vess had changed numbers because she there had. We go. Yes, she before she before had two power and she was dealing for damage. A lot of damage. Usually you didn't. Uh, you couldn't use her order. order because she was dead. She mm-hmm. had low power, so we kind of turned it around. You know, damage is like bonus in this in this case. Yeah, you mm-hmm. play her. Kai. She has high body, so she will uh, she will survive. Yes. She will give zeal to someone, mm-hmm. and this damage is more like a bonus. Okay. So she's so a higher chance of giving zeal now, because she's a higher chance of surviving, but she does, she's not as much removal we're anymore. Numbers, we do the same amount of cards that mm. do this. Okay. Not uh, sure if it's a nerf or a buff. On. The next uh, change was to reach and row restrictions. Yes. This is something that is a global change coming That's to true. other factions also, not only Northern Realm specific. So what's the idea right here? So maybe this can be a, a, a bit scary, mm-hmm. but we removed reach from all the cards in the game. Mm-hmm. Right now, and uh, and why? Whoa! With homecoming, we want uh, revenant we want without to reach matters. Yeah, mm-hmm. we introduced reach, mm-hmm. but Whoa. after a few months, I need to I need to say it didn't work out how we believed. Yeah, like reach one, those cards don't see any play. Mm-hmm. People just don't play reach one because it's too risky to not find target. At the same time, reach two is. No condition, pretty much. Yeah. It doesn't have, have that with Dwarven yes. Mercenary. Yeah. I can kind of agree with that, kind of. If your yes. opponent is playing around that, it, the reach is There are some situations where reach 2 does have an impact, though. When you're playing Square Tall, and you have, like, Skags and Oak, you can't really fill up the row because then your Skags might be bricked if your opponent plays into back row. So there are some situations where reach 2 does have some impact. But for the most part, they are right. that, that It doesn't actually impact the game that much. Reach 1 is just a real feels bad because you can't really play the reach 1 cards because they can very easily brick. You will usually find something on the other row, so yeah. it's not restriction at all. And mm-hmm. uh, Instead, we'll go with more row locked cards, mm-hmm. like cards locked to melee and ranged row. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's, there's not that many in this patch because we focus mostly on Northern Realms and on power uh, and provision changes in other, in other factions. Mm-hmm. But 
in future patches you can expect for sure more cards locked to certain rows okay. in the game. Right, that's probably and we actually probably. have an example of a card. Yes, perfect. This so, is a perfect example, yeah. the, the Mauler. Mm -hmm. So I before he two. had rich one, mm -hmm. and Six he, was, four. Uh, he was dealing three damage, yes. yes. Right now, of course, we tweaked provision and oh, power. It's order, that's though. not the point here. But it's order, though. As you can see, the rich is gone. Yes. And now he's just melee. melee but it's harder melee to kill this, which might be okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm talking so about. Order melee damage a unit by two. If, so if removal's being weak and such, it's going to be hard uh, to kill uh, this card. You're not going to waste that's, that's, your that's removal to kill that. Difference with the, so it's the probably going to be a 6 for 4 most times. Okay, moving on. I think it's still okay. Rounds, uh, I think those, yeah, those, those were like two main general points exactly. showing our direction. And All now we can move to left the point. Yeah, so we had uh, the overall power and provision pass, reducing high damage. Reach yeah. removal and of course row restrictions and we had the Adrian Mahler to show that yeah there will be some cards that you have to place in a specific row yes. in order to utilize that. I remember when you guys were designing everything before uh, we launched Project Homecoming there I really liked the idea that you had cards that were locked to a specific row and then they use their ability which always for me yes, was I, I, I personally to the game. agree that works much better mm -hmm. that's, that's looks more, like might be playable yeah, yeah, it's playable. Right now, it's definitely playable um, there will be 20 cards which will be on full mill value of course for a couple of days after we launch uh, this update and um, what's the overall idea for Northern Realms going slowly one by one so you know we want we want each faction to feel unique mm -hmm. yes with some factions right now, maybe we achieved that better with other wars. I think Northern Realms identity was pretty good. Mm -hmm. The faction was weak, mm -hmm. but it was there. Yes. And we followed, we just followed the identity, you know. It was greedy faction, yeah? and we, yeah. we wanted to stay that way. It, it, it's supposed to be the most greedy faction in the game. Mm -hmm. So, okay. as I said, uh, we, we followed the general laws. First thing, decreasing damage. Mm -hmm. We added three new keywords yes because as jason said we had only formation before as a new keyword mm -hmm. and if i remember correctly only three cards in whole northern realms faction used it so Which is not now a lot. not it only more cards have formation but also mm -hmm. three new keywords we added th two new categories mm -hmm. that's come up to that. yes what's the face northern realms faction mm -hmm. and then we added more zeal envoy. so the order mechanic won't feel inferior to coins mm -hmm. Okay. And we also, I think, reworked 28 cards in Northern Realms. Not only yes. tweaked, but changed them mm -hmm. to work better with, with the faction identity. We, yeah. For example, we don't want Northern Realms to deal high damage, yes. Of course, they have Unsays and Seldkirk, and those cards are fine. Like, mm -hmm. Those are two cards, but okay. we don't want to have a lot of cards that deal high damage. The, the, you know, they are s they're supposed to, to do the things. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You have orders, you have I'm charges, just you worried, though, one, because... We need to do. We still need to have damage cards to be able to disrupt the opponent's strategy, and you know, kind of. If if no one can really damage things enough, then people are just kind of free to be as greedy as they want and have like just try make decks or just completely solitaire, which is a bit dangerous. So I'm hoping that damage is still viable because we do need to have ways to disrupt each other's strategies, which is important. So, but yeah. I guess it's, we'll see. It's, it's their way of doing things. And so you guys not only see us talking, we actually have some examples. Locks. Uh, yeah, I guess locks so might be more relevant now. Uh, oh I boy. Think people will love this one. And there was a big change here. Let's go Damage this card. Two, so this is a direct seal, support to the Blue Stripes Commando deck. Spawn mm -hmm. Spawn which I really Commando like. And some I also used to like. Ooh, and I think that's people will love this change. So Rush is doing two damage. Okay, let's look at the numbers here. It's playing... A seven, okay, and if it kills something, it gets a f it plays eleven for eleven plus the blue stripes on the row, which gives you the potential of thinning. So it plays it's it's a seven for eleven that's conditionally eleven for eleven. That's conditionally eleven for eleven. If it doesn't get the death blow, if it still survives, which it might do, it's very hard to kill a five. Killing a five is not easy. Killing a five is not that easy. So it's most of the time going to play, I would say, 11 for 11. Plus it gives you future utility. That's pretty cool, actually. I like this. I like this. That sounds pretty cool, actually. Zeal. Mm -hmm. And on order, he's spawning Blue Stripes Commando and summoning it's cool. wow. to his role. Yeah. And so, it's very flavorful for him. Oh, of course. Case. Of course. I think it's not only flavorful, but also really good. Yes. And as you see, the deploy... Is again like the damage is a bonus. Yeah, it's actually gonna really help our Fultus sticks. It's about the, it's about the using commando. The order Fultus drug is a big buff by this card. If you can play and find death mm -hmm. blow, you'll get the, your blue striped commando immediately. Mm -hmm. yes. If you don't, ah! you need to wait one turn. Okay, 
Okay. Or you can always give him zero with like this, for example. Mm -hmm. Moving on to Great the yeah, that's a good call. So this was an example of expanding existing archetypes that we don't want, uh, as I said, we don't want to drop them. Mm -hmm. We like how Northern Realms Trials getting changed probably. Work, I think all revenants, I maybe revenants being changed. I, I, I don't want to say look because they're we'll weak, see. but how they work right now and we want okay. to ex expand it. So okay. the second example is example Kiramet. of maybe a bit greedy mm -hmm. card. So Jason is like Kaida was reworked and now she's giving vitality mm -hmm. to adjacent units equal to their base power. Oh. So as I said, we want them to stay the greediest faction, yes? This, yes. Is, this is greedy. This can give you a lot of value in long round. In the long term, yes. What? It's vitality, so it, it takes a long time, as yeah. I said. It's, it's, so it's all about play... greed. Whoa, so you play like commandos in round three, and then you play Kira. You are dogs. Holy and moly. I shall treat you as such. This card, I'm scared of. Oh my you god, earlier, this card is. If you play early enough, yes. you will Something actually interesting. get the benefit unless she is, of course. And it removed, also works with their, you know, boosting identity. Mm -hmm. Imagine you have two Trident infantries, you play Kaira between them, yeah, and they are just shooting, shooting, shooting. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, they're, and, they're, and they're growing in size, let's or, say. Or even Dun Banner that will be boosted by one and mm -hmm. summon copy. But okay. I think Tridams are the best best example we've heard. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm conditional uh, 21. And the last one, the rework example. of the bronze, yeah, because mm -hmm. we shall You can go. muzzle the vitality yeah. for good counter, so I suppose. We also have some... Marian Drummer. Yes, because the theme of this patch, let's say, is a bronze card mostly, yes, mm -hmm. like for other factions. So the Marian Drummer, a really good engine that... Engine and activator at the same time, because Northern Realms have a lot of cards that react to boost, yes? So he's not only engine himself, but he's also activating a lot of the cards. Mm -hmm. Boost it, uh, and right uh, what he do is, uh, what he does, sorry. He, every t every allied turn on turn end, he boosts the unit on the right by one. Yeah. I mean, if it sticks, so it's good, but... Same. Like, Tridam is probably the one of the best cards, mm -hmm. and it works as the best example, mm -hmm. always. <laughs> so I least Synergy Tridam has done again. Banner you Cavalry now. Tridam, you can play Drummer next to him. Mm -hmm. And every turn you're getting two points. Synergizes yeah. with quite a few you things. Yes. Wait, it synergizes. That's a slow yeah, synergy. Like it synergizes that. with trying infantry. It synergizes with um, Anna. It synergizes with a lot of things. It, you kind of have to kill it because if you don't kill that, it gets all of your stuff out of removal range. It's like a permanent. It's kind of like. Uh, it's kind of like a um, leader ability of Meave on the board that can be killed. But if it doesn't get killed, all your engines get buffed out of removal range. That's actually a very scary card. You kind of have to kill that card. If you don't kill that card, it's going to cause problems for you. So you kind of, it's one of those cards that it's not by itself a big issue, but you are forced to kill it because if you don't kill it, it's going to empower all the other engines out of removal range, plus give them extra value. Um, just He's pretty strong, actually. Text on the card. Not the career he had in mind when he told mommy he wanted to be a musician. <laughs> like you have to kill this card. If you yeah. don't, Monk is. It's a, it's a different. And if you play it in me, if it comes in at a five-point uh, card immediately, which how do you kill that? Yeah. Yes, 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 that's true. Because this was more about Northern Realms and general, general. Mm -hmm. what, what we want to achieve. But now we can go to details. Pump two, three cards. I was telling you that we have two new categories, and one of those categories, one of these, is warfare. Yes. Of course, we have an warfare. example which says Warcraft, but the proper name is Warfare. warfare. This is play. a debug. Yes, you mm -hmm. So play a so Warfare card from a deck. What is Warfare every card? Every faction, you know, in our game has this it's the tutor unique card. category. Mm -hmm. Or at least I will say most of them, because some people can argue that, you Warcraft. know, Alchemy is not that <laughs> really unique to Skyrim, but we want to expand that. Yeah, in future, so don't work. <laughs> and, you know, Witchcraft. Northern Realms have this. Military feeling, yeah? yeah. It's an army. You have soldiers, exactly. you have knights, you have generals, mm -hmm. kings. So spells don't really work here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we thought about, you know, creating something unique for them. So that's how we came with the warfare category. Yeah, it's kind of like if you compare it to uh, syndicate. Syndicate has the crimes. Yes, crimes, and they, exactly. they work really well. I mean, that's also because you know we we don't want faction to. To, to re rely Is only on the of the mm -hmm. maybe also to rely on specials and you can see that in syndicate that's the perfect example i guess i think crimes are, are working really well there exactly we want to achieve something like that in other factions. i guess things course, like um, realms it will be slower because like what's the thing we can throw like boost 14 warfare cards six right times now, yeah. randomly on a row uh because Can't syndicate cool. has a lot yeah there's a lot and i the, think there um, are far, uh, four or five the card that gives full vitality right, and armor I think or it's shield. A good beginning, mm -hmm. and we'll expand this like in the that? future. Knighthood, that's the yeah. one. And Knighthood. some of cards you you know, 
are changed into warfare, Dragon. for example, recruitment. So right now you can grab recruitment with with Natalis. Oh boy, mind. good old uh, Natalis into recruitment. It's coming back, boys. Natalis into recruitment. Um, it's coming back. Good <laughs> yes, it's flail. back. The flail. So flail that so was an artifact actually... ended up being a uh, warfare yeah, special. Mm -hmm. So this works with. Natalis is a soldier with soldier deck. Yeah. Okay, it's not Wolfing. It's giving an immune bleeding for eight turns. Which is also flavorful. Yes, but for each soldier, it decreased bleeding by one and deal one ah. damage instead. Oh. Okay, it's removal. So if you have eight soldiers, you just deal eight damage. Mm -hmm. And I know some people can say now, okay, it's high removal, but you said Northern Realms see shouldn't have high removal, yes. But at the same time, I said, like, it's not a problem on specials. If you remove something, it's card for card, you're not gaining body, body on the board, mm -hmm. we're okay with that. Okay. Yeah, and also encourages players to use more special That's true. cards. And, and use it's them also, as target removal. Yes, and, and you also need uh, need to have units for this, yeah? Mm -hmm. If you play it without with units, Commanders just, you round know, three, I play yeah, my but wants to remove it, it's a bleed. Even it's with Commanders round 3, you still need to find a target big enough to get that value. So it's very conditional, actually. It's, it's only turned into removal in the late game. Okay, cool. So. Yeah, and like Moving you said, on. takes time um, to get that value. Machine, screw, and resupply keywords. It's so very inflexible kind of removal. Oh, the, the, I think people should be happy to see it coming back in different yes. form, but it's coming back. Yeah. Uh, I know people wanted that, so. Yes. So, what about machines as an archetype overall? So, machines, we, all, eh? we, we, we really liked machine archetype, mm -hmm. but uh, it didn't work out because. Our initial thought was machines yeah, will all be handled back. Charges, you know, you're giving them charges, they are shooting, yeah? Mm -hmm. But when all of them were working on charges, it doesn't really matter if you have one machine or two machines or ten machines on board because uh -huh. you can give charges and only to a handful of them. Yeah, if you have if you have uh, Demavand, mm -hmm. you can give charges only to one machine. So why you need like ten mm -hmm. of them? Yeah. So we reworked this archetype a mm -hmm. bit. Not all machines are using charges. Okay. It's so you can you know mix and play them together, and you don't need to rely on charges. Are oh, we gonna see a Demavand rework? And we also added the crew keyword for them. And crew, like before, is working with soldiers. Mm -hmm. Crew is working if you if, if machine is placed between Imagine adjacent soldiers. One. As long as adjacent units are soldiers, crew, crew is working. Damage okay. And we actually have an instead. example of uh, Photo yes. Sprite. I think that will also open more deck building options. Okay. Because so right now you don't need to just take... Zeal? Order damage unit by one. Charge one. Crew damage unit by two instead. Hmm. So you can you can use basically if you if you have a crew, wait. So if you put it in between two crews, if you put it between two crew, you have if you have a pocket, then what happens? Does it incre doesn't increase damage by one each time? It's just always increasing. It's always two damage, right? So a six point card that can just keep doing two damage. It's kind of like it's kind of like a mock to brick in a way, I guess. It's kind of like a mock to brick. That's harder to kill because it's got six body. It's like a better mock to brick actually. Take machines. Pass between two. And cards that gives charges. Gives charges. Mm -hmm. crew? Oh, right. You take some machines. You can take soldiers. You can take oh, okay. machines with charges. Okay, okay, okay. Huh. Okay, so that's between two soldiers. Remember, but if it's between two soldiers... I mean, so, okay. So it's like Mark to Bricky that has... It's harder to kill the Mark to Bricky, but it has a bit more of a difficult condition to meet, I guess. I don't know how hard that crew... That, 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 I mean, two soldiers are not, not that difficult for Northern Realms to do. But... Hmm. I don't know. Charges without charges. It's up to you. I think this. this it's kind of like removal, though. It's also a removal. Mm -hmm. You can that's, use this as a removal card. Okay. Keep pumping so, charges uh, to use as removal. For the machine, this Fulter Sprite, yes. which we are showing, and now we will move on to. Uh, oh, I said about crew. Yeah, it's, it's yes. doing one damage. It mm -hmm. has one charge. On crew, it's doing two damage instead. And one thing that. Few and think of the follow, uh, Mr. Fister XXX Walking Combat Siege Engine. Right now, we are not using this category for anything. In the short round, yeah, that's a lot. Particular. But I mean, this card is using it. But it's a hint for future that maybe, maybe in future this archetype won't be called machines, but siege engine archetype, mm -hmm. and there will be different siege engines than machines. Maybe some beasts. No, I don't want to hint anything, so leave it for that. Interesting. Yeah. Um, so the second example is second siege example. master. Yes. So uh, siege master and, and uh, siege support mm -hmm. are now also they give um, with uh, siege poles. Welcome mm -hmm. to my army. Because you know. This is what they do, yeah? Like, even their name, like Siege Master. Resupply. Yeah. So 
So he if will you play a Warcraft Warc. guard. Uh -huh. Right now he's boosting an ally unit by two and he's using new keyword resupply. So it's playing it's playing five for five and boosts an adjacent siege engine by one every time you play a, a warfare card. So it's kind of like an it's it's kind of like a five for five with an intimidate tag. If you think of it like in Syndicate, like the in, with the intimidate tag, basically. That's kind of how I look at this card. I mean, that still kind of seems mm -hmm. slightly weak, but triggers whenever you play I guess it's playable. Okay, so you play a war, yeah, okay. yes, warfare, and, and then he's boosting play. adjacent. Okay. As you see, it's also not a not a mistake that he's boosting adjacent siege engines because for crew you need to have soldiers as adjacent units. Uh -huh. So the soldiers, so what you yeah. do idly Most is, 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 is have a setup of soldier, machine, uh -huh. siege master. Machine Soldier. Mm -hmm. Then both of these machines have crew activated, and Siege Master in the middle is boosting both of them whenever okay. you play. So you really have to think okay. about how you yes. place yes. their position. Their is now I think it's boosting by two each time, so it's plus two. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And, uh, I think we're coming to the. No, not last yeah. paragraph. I wanted to say last paragraph, but this is. It's playable. It's close it's okay. To it's not bad. Not yes. Uh, so Zeal Inspired Formation. Yes. Zeal Inspired Formation. So uh, with Syndicate, we heard. And we agreed. That order is just worse version of fee. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it you can't kind use of, it yeah. immediately. You have charges, so we said, yeah, that's true. We need to change something, and we added a lot of zeal, mm -hmm. a lot of formation. Formation is cool keywords, as I mentioned. Like only three, three cards were using it. Mm -hmm. It was a waste. We can actually show an example yes. of Delirian language. Right now we have oh boy. I think around ten cards. Mr. Green Necht, your quote. More <laughs> cards received zeal. Okay. So, you know, this order abilities Direction without zeal is left only for like a few handful of really strong abilities like Seltkill. Mm -hmm. Seltkill is still uh, without zeal. Since so current power is higher than its but base most power. Of them can be used whenever you play them. It's up to you. Uh, um, because formation. So, it plays 4 for 5 on deploy. That if it's boosted, which has some synergy with some of the cards you've seen, like um, the Dun. The, What's the other card called? I can't remember. But basically, if it's cards boost, it does. It plays for an extra two, so it's playing um six for five. Eh. Formation. Okay. Oh, so it's only zero if it's in the if, in the yeah. So they play in the back row. It's playing five for five if it doesn't die, which is actually it four damage on this. If if damage has been reduced by the much as we've uh, as much as they say it has been a much difficult to kill. Give you zero or, mm -hmm. or boost it. Mm -hmm. So this works also with the. Greed identity. You can yes. always choose the formation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. Giving zeal, you know, if, if it will survive. If you play on you're getting points. points on that's one. true. Back row. Yeah, I've played on the melee. But it needs to survive though, or so not yeah, take any choose. damage. That's true. And this is also a new keyword. Mm -hmm. The third new keyword. Me meta. I think me actually looks like she's inspired gonna get a lot of buffs. Yeah. Works when unit is boosted. Mm -hmm. So in, with Landsknecht, you either play him with zeal, but he deals one damage, mm -hmm. or you go greedy and deal three damage. Okay. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have um, uh, one more card. Yes, one more card. Val Val damage. Yeah, it depends on how go. much damage is being also. nerfed or whatever. We'll see how much damage gets nerfed overall. Here we go, Anna Stranger. Anna, boost so the Anna units to the right by uh, one. Spy that's better boost. than before. Yeah, before if she was uh, 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 if she was boosted, she was boosting adjacent units. Exactly. Uh, right now we change it a bit. If she's not boosted, she's boosting one unit to the right. Whoa! So she boost. But if she's inspired. Then she's working on both units. Holy it's, moly, yeah. that's a I think those big buff. Like perfect example. So yeah, th th this is just pure buff. That is a thick buff. Even if it's not boosted, if it, it will work. Exactly. Sheepers. That's I scary. Am so we'll move on to the last part. I think yeah, no, I think for me, to and I think also for the players, that's it's one of the, the most interesting one. It's actually a shield. Yes, a shield. I mean, shield is working well on its own. It's the 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 mechanic used to protect your engines let's say but mm -hmm. run from stella <laughs> it's also a cool archetype and people remember it at squam yes people liked it and we, we thought like hey maybe let's expand it like you know mm -hmm. other factions can just use it as a shield to protect their stuff but northern realms can have bigger archetype build around it and people ask for that we deliver yeah and we have an example actually, it's Kadwani Cavalry. Kadwani Cavalry. So, shield, do salt by two. Uh, ah, Kavali, this is like. Working with uh, before, doing damage equal to the number of. This is like old Redanian Knights Cavalry, I think it was called. Right? 
That's like the all Redanite cavalry. So how many ways to give how do you how many ways do you have of reactivating shields though? That's the question. Charges, I never saw Not this that card many. played against me, probably most of people too. Mm-hmm. So we change it now. It, so it has, has a shield. It has something with Rogner, I guess. Whenever this unit loses shield, boost self by two. So the shield Rogner. will be removed. It's six four four. Yeah, so it gets a boost if the shield is removed. And the Leads. second card that works with oh, it perfectly is, is the dense sorceress. Dense and also oh, okay, something worth to mention: both of those cards, Cadwany Cavalry and Dense Sorceress, were dealing damage. Yes. So again, Remove cards a unit that were dealing damage were changed into something that do not deal damage anymore. Uh -huh. And then okay, she's a five for five. That's a conditional seven for five. Oh boy, that's Skellige level bronze right there. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I like this. That's pretty cool. Um, remove a unit shield. You could. Uh, this actually looks like you might be able to make like a Rognar deck. Maybe you can make like a Rog Rognar, 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 Rugnar, whatever his name is. Then sorcerer. Pretty cool actually. It's I like five that. Five five with zeal order. As I said, a mm -hmm. lot of cards receive zeal. I like that. And it removes unit shield and boosts self by two. Mm -hmm. So you can play it with your Kadwani Cavalry for a yeah. combo. It's nice. It almost but that reminds me a lot of um the the Butcher plus Fanatic combo in Skellige. That's what that looks like to me. It looks like this is this looks like a lot a bit like the um the Butcher Fanatic um combo. That's similar to what that is basically. If you want to remove something from your opponent and it has shield, you can also use it offensively. Does any unit now too? Oh, so interesting. Yeah, you could do it. If you play it with opponents. cavalry, you always yeah, get you this same option. Okay, I will remove shield from my cavalry. Can you yoink opponent shields? Boost, it's okay, but as I'm saying, from time to time, you will probably use this card offensively and remove card the opponent's alarm, shield yeah. to destroy something. I mean, all right, that's it for the patch overview. Aww. Thank you, Austin, for coming Just to the studio. We talked more. about the okay. changes coming with patch. 3.1 this one is coming on wednesday mm. so watch out for that and i think that's that's it yeah that's it i just hope you you liked what you saw and yeah yeah and patch is coming tomorrow so check those out there's some comments from rishik that that's all there's obviously so much more they're not going to show all of it really cool thank you Austria, and we'll Thanks. see you guys it's already like later bye 31 minutes in. interesting